In this video, we're going to be talking about the ASP.NET website theme. Uh, in previous videos, we discussed how we can share content across multiple pages using master pages. For example, an header content area, the footer area, the sidebar content, all can be shared among uh, many web pages of the web application. So. Uh, what we did in the previous videos was to look at master pages and master pages allow you to share uh, the co different content sections uh, across uh, multiple pages so if you have a content area where you type the where you put the logo you type the name of your company the footer area where you put the links everything can be shared across multiple pages but a theme is different in that uh, uh, the theme enables you to control the appearance of the content for example, we may want all the we may want all the button controls to have a black back color and a white text on them. So, if you want to change the the appearance on, of some of the ASP.NET controls, it is uh, it's a good idea to use a theme. Theme uses a skin file and a CSS to modify the look and feel of the controls. So, we may use something called a skin file, which we're going to be looking at in a minute. So if you want to change all the uh, the way the calendar control is displayed or the way the label control is displayed or the way uh, a button control is displayed, you can use a skin file or a CSS file to modify that and we're going to be looking at that in a minute. A theme must be placed in an inside a special ASP.NET folder called the app themes folder. I'm going to show you how to add this folder if you don't already have it added automatically. Any folder placed inside the app theme folder will represent a single theme in a web application. Uh, you can have multiple themes in a website that you want to apply at different times. You can add a skin file and a CSS file inside a theme folder. So if any of this doesn't make sense to you, I'll show you in a minute. So uh, a theme must be placed inside the app theme folder. Then any folder that you place inside this special folder will represent a single theme in your website. So let's head over to VWD 2008 and uh, this is just a basic website where I've uh, um, created a panel and I've added label and text boxes inside and if we run this uh, website now we can see just a basic um, very ugly looking um, panel with label and text boxes inside. So but we can beautiful we can change the look and feel of this uh website by adding a skin file and what we do, the first thing we have to do is remember we have this app underscore data folder this is usually for database so to add the theme folder all you have to do is just right click on the project name and go to add asp.net folder and you can select the theme folder and when you do that it's going to add the app underscore theme folder and it's going to give you a chance to uh, name your first theme. So I'm going to call this one uh, theme one, theme one. So let's just call it, you can call it any name. So we want to apply the theme one. So inside here now, we want to create something called a skin file. So inside the theme one, we have to right click on it and say add new item. So we want to add, as you see, these are all the items that we may add, but we want to add a skin file. You can change the name of the skin file to be anything really. Say colorful. So colorful dot skin. We add it, and it's going to give us uh, this default skin file. You can read through. Just give you an example. So what I want to do is I've actually created uh, one, and I'm just going to copy it, and I'm going to explain what I've typed. So I'm going to paste it in the folder. So it's a very simple. It's very simple to write. It's very similar to writing a control inside the page. When you, when you are declaring a control, an ASP.NET inside the control, this is exactly what you do. The only difference which you have to pay attention to is when you're defining a control inside the skin file, it must not have an ID. Normally, when you are defining, let me take you back to default.aspx, when you are defining any, uh, for example, a text box, a text box here you can see say ASP text box and we define an ID and run at equals to server but when you are declaring inside a skin file when you're defining your uh, properties 
it should not include an ID so we want to have we want to make sure that all the text boxes uh, has the four color of blue the four color is the color of the uh, the, the font the background color of orange we want to change the background of all the text box property to orange we want to uh, the border style to be solid and the border color to be green and you have to include the run at equals to server so this is very similar and actually the same thing to uh, declaring the control when you um, you declare uh, as with any control except that there's no id involved and we did the same thing for the panel so ASP panel here the four color will be white the back color will be black the border style will be solid the back color will be blue and the run at equals to server so you define this and let's save it so now that we have a skin file named colorful.skin uh, we need to apply this theme which is called theme 1 to our website so and the way to do that is you have to go to the page directives remember the page directives is there to actually tell our page a lot of information so if we say theme equals then it's going to give you all the option of the theme that you have at the moment we only have theme 1 so let's apply theme 1 to our website so let's save that and now if we preview our website We'll be able to see that uh, the theme that we uh, all the information that we see. For example, if we tap inside now, we can see that uh, the four color is blue, and the four color for the panel is one. Remember, this was very ugly before, but now we have applied a theme file to the controls. So this is how you define uh, your skin files. Skin files which allow you to have. Uh, to, to describe different properties for your ASP.NET control. So if you want to add a new theme, all you have to do is just right click on the app underscore theme folder and say add ASP.NET folder and you can see we can only add a theme. So let's call that theme 2. That's fine. That's the name. So let's add another file. Let's add a new item. So we want to add a skin file. So a skin file has been added and I've actually created another one for the same controls for ASP.NET uh, text box and for panel and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna paste it in here and this is actually not different from the previous one except that I just changed the colors around from black to blue then to pink light blue and things like that so if you want to apply this new theme now how do you do you just have to go to the page directives and just change theme 1 to theme 2 and uh, this means that all our controls now we inherit this theme so as you see we now have uh, uh, a different theme now for our page the previous one was darker and this one is lighter so this is how you change the this is how you apply theme to different ASP.NET controls and almost all ASP.NET uh, controls can be themed so you can so uh, you have an you have an option of defining you can define multiple ASP.NET control for example we've defined two ASP.NET control inside one skin file you can you have that option you can define your button here as well you can define your label and at the same time you can also define the properties of a single property a single control inside one skin file so you can use one skin file for a ASP text box you can use another skin file for, for panel and so on and so forth so you have an option as long as everything belongs into one theme folder then all those properties will be uh, compiled and run at runtime and will be applied to your page so this is the um, an introduction to the theme you create you had the folder you create a theme inside the theme you put a skin file you define the properties of the control that you want to change and you go back to the page and you uh, state which theme that you want to apply to the page so this is the process of adding a theme uh, of adding the theme to your website so in the next video we're going to be looking at more uh, more options that you have available to you thank you